So I'm a little self-conscious because I'm wearing pink. <laughs> and uh, I didn't own anything pink. No, no, I, I went out and bought this because I didn't own anything pink because I don't like pink. But, you know, I took one, I took one for the team. <laughs> I, even have pink, I even have a pink notebook. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, so, you know, when you, you start writing something and it goes somewhere and you didn't expect it to go? Yes. Okay. So I wrote one of those damn make them yearn again, and I didn't, oh, yeah. I didn't mean to. Well, you have a lot to yearn about. I do. So I recently met my um, a first cousin, and I didn't even know I had. So we kind of wrote this together, and um, her name's um, Frankie Sue, and she's gonna read this. So I'll have her come up and read it. Okay. 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 <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm Frankie Sue, oh I can't see with these on, I'm Frankie Sue, how you, how y'all doing? So I'm gonna um, read this little old poem here, it's not funny yet, oh yeah okay it's funny. Okay. <laughs> you know I always provide reading material. So this is called Make Em Yearn, The Girls. <laughs> My nearly identical girls are twins. They're both lovely in their own skins. It's difficult to give them a name since they couldn't be the exact same. Besides, it ain't easy to tell them apart, even though one is literally closer to my heart. And one seems slightly larger than the other. Well, I should know I'm their birth mother. <laughs> they were so cute when they were small. I could wrap them together in my little old shawl. <laughs> I sure hated to watch them grow and get older. Way too soon, they were wearing a boulder holder. <laughs> At sleepover parties, we'd compare our cupcakes. Back then, we were all real, none of us were fakes. <laughs> we'd bounce on the bed and do the pencil test. <laughs> you know, to see how many stayed stuck under your chest. <laughs> At first, I protected them both from potential harm, you know, away from those nasty men with, those, with that lustful charm. Then I unleashed my tater tots so they could learn to let them have experiences and make them yearn. I admit I might have been a little too hasty I exposed them and set them out with no, bleh. I, <laughs> let me do that again. I admit I might have been a tad too hasty, exposed them without so much as a pasty. It was worth the wait, right? Worth the wait. I quickly realized they crave a whole lot of attention. Mere thoughts point those little nippers to ascension. <laughs> They're mature now with minds of their own. Some of their behaviors, goodness, they make me moan. I'm not complaining, I'm busting with pride. They've met so many nice friends by their bedside. <laughs> Samples of their names I didn't like much. Lucy and Ethel, Stotsky and Hutch. <laughs> I could have named them Cagney and Lacey, but I wanted something a little more racy. I almost named them Yin and Yang, because it has such a mystical twang. Maybe a sweet theme like Marsh and Mellow, Peaches and Kramer, Pudding and Jello. I like that one. 
since there's two of them, I could say their name twice, like Tata and Chi Chi. That kind of rings nice. But I wanted them to sound soft and cuddly and lovable too. Just like my favorite teddy bears, I named them Yogi and Boo Boo. Or is it Yogi and Boo Boo? I don't know, thank you.